One form of heterogeneous equilibrium is solids dissolving in liquids. And here I've written a reaction for barium sulfate solid dissolving to form the barium ions and the sulfate ions. So it's ionic solid, it breaks apart into two ions, but barium sulfite is only sparingly soluble. It doesn't dissolve very much. In fact, if we write the equilibrium expression for this, we'll find the equilibrium constant is less than one. It favors the solid. So let's write that down. Here's the reaction quotient, the barium ions, sulfate ions, those are the products. The reactants that would normally go in the denominator don't appear because pure solids and pure liquids don't appear in our equilibrium and reaction quotient expressions. So the reaction quotient is actually just a reaction product, the product of the two ions. In fact, we sometimes call these equilibrium constants solubility product, KSP, because it's just the product of the two ions. It's still an equilibrium constant. It behaves exactly like an equilibrium constant. We just give it that little designation to remind us we're talking about the product of the two ions in solution. So the KSP for barium sulfate, very small. So this reaction doesn't go towards products very far at all. It very much favors the reactant side. So a small KSP, what is the solubility then of barium sulfate? Well, you can say if X moles dissolves, that'll form X moles of barium and X moles of sulfate. So if I say the concentration of the barium ions is X moles per liter, the concentration of the sulfate ions is X moles per liter, then X squared has to equal 1.1 times 10 to the minus 10, the solubility product. So that's an X of about 10 to the minus fifth molar. So very, very, very few molars, just a hundred thousandth of a mole dissolves in about a liter of water. So very low concentration. This is a solubility product for a sparingly soluble solid. 